Good evening, everyone. Hello. This is vlog number 19. Yay, almost there. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't know how people make so many videos all the time. This is hard work. And I'm doing, like, the simplest thing ever by just making the videos on my phone and uploading them right away. But anyways, so tonight I wanted to just talk about... I was just, didn't really want to make a video, but then I thought, um, I would talk about The Walking Dead a little bit, because I watched it the other night, and I didn't really talk about it since I watched it, and, um, so Rick, Carl, Michonne, they were, like, nowhere to be seen in this episode, um, it was just, we were able to see after what happened with the prison, and fire, and everything, um, who survived, which was, like, all our main characters that, you know, we care about. Um, except for, of course, Herschel, who had his head chopped off. Rest in peace, Herschel. Um, but yeah, so we see that, um, we first find out that, I, I'm i trying to remember, think about it, well, remember while I'm talking to you guys about it. Um, we see Daryl and Beth are together. Uh, if you watch The Talking Dead, uh, the week prior, you would know that Daryl and Beth were for sure alive because they were together. Um, and they showed them in the preview on the Talking Ted. So, yeah, we see them together for just a little bit. And as the episode goes on, you see where the different groups are crossing paths. So, <clears throat> there's, um, they had, Daryl and Beth cross paths with where, uh, what's his name, Tyrese, and then the two little girls, Lizzie and her sister, I forget her sister's name, and the baby Judith, um, they had been there earlier. Uh, reason being that we know this is because there was a log that they were, Tyrese and the girls were sitting by where there was two little rabbits and Lizzie was cutting them. And you, if you... If you're keeping your eye out, you would notice that the two little rabbits are still dead in that log um, when Daryl, like, walks over it. Um, yeah, I, I only knew of that because after watching The Talking Dead, they showed that part. And I was like, I knew she was, like, cutting the rabbits, but I didn't know they, they showed it. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. So uh, they crossed paths, but without knowing like, Daryl and Beth crossed too late to, to find them. And then um, another group that's together is Maggie, Sasha, and Bob. I believe his name is Bob. Um, they're, them three are together. Maggie wants to go and find out if Glenn is still alive. So they track down the bus. The bus, um, everyone on the bus is dead. They're all zombies. So, but she doesn't know if Glenn is in there or not. So she ends up opening the door. They all the zombies come out. They kill all the zombies, and she like has a panic attack. She doesn't. She, I mean, she just panics because she doesn't find him in there. And then she thinks she, he, you know, she just doesn't know where he is. If he's still alive. If he, if his body parts were all eaten in there or, or, or what. So she still doesn't know. And then. We find out that Glenn is still alive. Glenn, uh, I guess when everything happened at the prison, he ended up staying back instead of going on the bus. He got off the bus, and when he got off the bus, I guess, uh, when the explosion happened or something, he probably was thrown up on top of a rant on top of one of the building parts for the prison, um, like the bridge that got cut in half, and so he's, he's laying there, and a bunch of zombies are, like, at the prison. So he ends up getting, you know, his gear on, and going through all the zombies, which is awesome. So awesome. Uh, I, I like, out of all the characters, I was, uh, really excited to see Glenn, because I just really like his character. I like his, um, I just like him as an actor, and so I really like that. I really liked his part in it. And then he finds that one of the the governor's ladies, Tara, is there sitting at the prison and he ends up taking her with him so then she can help him to find Maggie. Um he I guess he, I didn't know that he did he wasn't 
he didn't see Herschel die, so he finds out in a, this episode that Herschel is dead, and you can tell he's really s surprised and really, you know, like it really hit him hard. It's like sad. It makes me sad again that about Herschel, of course. Um, I'm trying to think if I missed anyone, but yeah. So uh, this episode. Like, I like it, but then, like, I just really, I'm just waiting for the time when they're all back together. Because that's, like, what I like the most, is when they're all together. Um, oh, and then at the end of this episode, we find out about some new characters. Um, oh my gosh, I totally forgot the name of the characters. But we don't really get to know the name, so I heard it on the Talking Dead and what the guy's name is. So, um... We get, and then we don't know if they're good or bad or what. So I guess we'll find out. Oh, and Carol comes back. And I forgot that Tyrese didn't know that Carol killed, like, burned his woman alive. I forgot that. And then when he, well, Carol, like, was, like, frightened to see him and was, like, like, was, like, what's going to happen? And then he, like, gives her a big hug and she's just so surprised. It's, 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 it was pretty funny. But yeah, I totally forgot that, that Tyrese didn't know and I thought he was going to like kill her or what. Or that he just felt bad about everything that's going on and he just wanted to give her a hug. And I was like, oh yeah, he didn't know. He didn't know that she what she did. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So um, a lot of people were happy to see Carol back. I really, you know, uh, I don't know about Carol. I don't really like her that much. Um, but I'm, I guess I'm glad to see her back. It's always nice to have characters there that they've been on the show since the beginning so I'm glad to see her back I guess it was nice having a break though from her um so what else but I'm excited just to see what this uh, rest of the season has in store for us um I'm I'm trying to read the comic books I haven't even opened the the third one that I have right now from the library I need to start reading it and the guy that's in this newest episode at the that shows up at the end of the episode he's in volume he's in like volume 53 and I was like I'm only on number three how am I gonna know if he's good or bad for the show I guess I'm just gonna have to watch the show cuz I won't know but um we'll see so yeah let me know your thoughts on The uh, Walking Dead if you watch it and if you don't then ah, thanks for watching this video anyways alright see you guys all tomorrow bye